part of what I have, I don't know, maybe it's not fallen in love with, but recognized that is really healthy for me in terms of like this walking journey that I'm on, not just my weight loss journey, but my walking journey in particular. Um, and that's what I've chosen. You might choose like something else in terms of like working out or whatever. Um, one thing that I have recognized exercise has done for me is um, given me the opportunity to think um, you could have nothing going on in your life, which I don't know anyone who doesn't have anything going on in their life. Um, or you could have a lot going on in your life. You could have a lot of changes. You could have a lot of the need for change. You could have a lot of stress or any number of things. Good things too. Changes that are good. Um, today on my walk, um, I almost did six miles and it was kind of a speed walking. I'm improving my mile time um, by a few minutes, which is good. I don't, it's not something that I'm seeking to do by any means, but I'm just noticing on days where I have, you know, high music and high intensity music going, high beat, days I'm feeling really good, days I'm, my knee isn't bothering me. Um, I'm still wearing my knee brace. I don't know that I cannot wear it right now, but um, it's allowing me a lot of time to think whether I'm just listening to music or I'm listening to podcasts or books or like today I listened to a lot of music and then ended up calling Jason and ended up crying and yelling and screaming and cussing and not at him, but just about something that I'm going through. And uh, I think a lot of the people on the trail were a little worried for me because I was doing those things when I was alone like I was you know I was trying not to have those conversations when I was near people but like I would come around the corner and I'd be crying and there's five people walking their dogs and um but it's an outlet for me to regurgitate my thoughts whether I'm actually like having a conversation with Jason or I Marco Polo my sister or um talk to someone when I'm walking with them um or just in my own head. It's giving me that opportunity to do that and it's been really, really healthy for me. Am I solving world problems? No. Did I have a really stressful conversation with Jason today and make some choices that I want to make or don't want to make? Yes. Um, but it, as Jason said, go walk it off. After we ended our conversation, he, he, <clears throat> he knew that I needed to walk it off. And he's allowing me that time. Today is Labor Day and the weather's sucky. It's gray, overcast, 62 degrees. Um, kids are all home. We don't have any real big plans or anything. Um, does he want me home? Does he want to go out and do something? Yeah, he does, but he also knew I needed to walk it off. And I appreciate that he allows me that time, but I'm also appreciative to myself for allowing me to have that time that I'm choosing myself in this stage of my life to take care of myself, to think, to be, try and make healthy changes. And I just encourage you all to find those times in your life, in your day, in your week, in your month, um, to allow yourself to do that in whatever way you need to. That could just be on your drive home from work, having it quiet, having it a friend to talk to on the phone, to think and talk and um, it's just been so healthy and lethargic, lethargic, therapeutic <laughs> for me. And um, today I didn't know how much I needed that, but I did. So I don't know what our plans are for the day aside from massive laundry because I did not do it all weekend. I need to change my schedule because I do not have Saturdays to do laundry anymore um, with cheer. And um, so it is a laundry day. I need to edit. I need to um, just get the kids ready for school tomorrow for the week. It's their first 
It's not even their first full week of school. We still haven't even had a full week. Um, they only had two days last week, so. Let's go home. I have my energy drink that I'm gonna finish up. Um, and then I'm going to drink my clear protein. I go home and have some more protein. And we'll get started on our day. Um, yeah, I know I'm hungry, so I need to go and get that taken care of. All right, I'm in a predicament. It's been a little bit since I've been home. I've showered. We're on our brilliant load of laundry. Jason's been working. I'm cleaning today because he knew I was having a hard morning. He vacuumed everywhere. He's been putting laundry in for me. He's, he's just done a lot, which I appreciate. But I lost one of my earbuds somewhere between the car and the house. Sometimes it shows on my app as being here at the house. Other times it says that both AirPods cannot be found. I put them both in my pocket at the park, walked to my car. I should have put them in my case, but I didn't. And I know from experience that the Find My can find one AirPod because I've left it in Hawaii before. Here, I'm gonna let him drive. I'm not in the mood for his antics on my driving today. So we've been looking through the car over and over again. I looked in my shorts, it's not in my shorts. So we're just trying to find it. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Found it. That's, where was it? It was attached to the keys. Well, I mean, it was. It probably got tangled up in the mail keys um, when oh, I wow. went to check the mail when I got home because I put the keys in my pocket and the AirPod must have just gotten attached to it when I put the keys back in the little bin. Wow, that's crazy. Because I, I had only done like two things. I hadn't even like, anyway, when I realized that they were gone. So, found the AirPod put it back in its case and um you're lucky that didn't fall off somewhere else attached to some i know stuff, so now where's my case i swear you said you just to put it back in your case no i said i want to put it back in my case and i can't find the case whatever if it's not here with me it's at home oh there it is all right we just have a few errands to run we are not going to go to costco we have so much food um but grapes are, oops, sorry. Grapes are on sale for what, 79 cents a pound? That's what it looks like. We went and got some for game night with our friends the other day. And uh, we ended up going out to their house on a Sunday because none of us had time over the weekend um, to get together. And so we got together, I guess that was, Sunday was yesterday, today's Monday. We got together yesterday, but we realized the price of grapes was 79 cents a pound. But I, at the time, I didn't have time to like we're stock up on them. We were in a hurry to do something else. But anyway, we're gonna go back and get some more grapes and just a few more, like probably bananas and a gallon of milk. We wanna just get through a couple more days before going to Costco. Just, we've got enough food. <laughs> um, he's got a package to mail and um, just kinda like, chill for a second before I have to go back home and finish laundry and edit and do you have bills to pay or are you caught up? No. No, I, don't, I have to go to work tomorrow and pay bills, but yeah. I don't have any more work to do. Good. Okay, we're at Safeway. These are 97 cents a pound. Just shy. We got exactly six pounds, which is all you can get for that deal. I'm gonna get Chelsea a few cucumbers and myself. I'm gonna get a few cucumbers and bananas. This is a, only a fraction of the laundry we've done today. It's been a couple hours. Dude, She's still, harder. is that Liz? Say hi, Liz. Hi. <laughs> um, I can't find my water bottle. So I've been using that cup. Kitchen is kind of a disaster. Let's see where I'm at with laundry. Can I move a load yet? Yep. Move that load and I have one more. I'm so excited. I, I don't think I have any more. We're, we've got Ashley's cheer uniform here, all ready to go. I don't even have a load. I brought my phone in to fold a load, but I don't, don't even need to fold a load. 
because I need to move this load. That's towels, super easy, and then a blanket, super easy. <laughs> he's complaining about cupboard space, and I'll figure it out on a day he's not here. That's what I just told him. I'm eating kids' leftovers, cucumbers. Oh, you can take two. So she literally texted me 20 minutes after we got home from the store today. Asked if we had cucumbers. Did you get cucumbers? Or can you get them? And um, I was already wonderful mom of the year and I already got her some. So, um, and we realized that we, she's so loud. Her friends are very loud. Here, can I sneak by? I made the Mongolian beef. Oh, don't let me get in your way. I'm just Looking doing dishes. Hurts. Okay, both I asked you nicely if I could get past you, you schmuck. <laughs> I know, I'm just giving you crap. Okay. People, have, well, well, a personal well. person has said that I talk to him mean, but they don't know <laughs> what happens when I don't have the camera on and I'm not filming him being a oh, schmuck. Please, I don't like talk to you mean off camera or something. See, I, no, but you just treat me. I don't treat you bad. Anyway, I made Mongolian beef yesterday and I forgot. No, I didn't forget. I just wasn't filming yesterday and I was just really hungry and I really wanted this Mongolian beef. But we made it yesterday and I made it with um, the beef broth uh, for the first time. I had chicken broth the first two times I made it just because I had everything else at the time and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna make it. The chicken broth is fine. But we made it with the beef broth last night. Mm, my gosh, it's so much better. So, ignore that. Um, one of these days when I make it again, I will show you how to make it. It is, it is so easy. It is so easy. Um, it's really good. And it is so good. And it's super good protein. I actually have like three more recipes that I wanna make. Um, with ground beef, and I only have one more little chub, a little chub of um, ground beef. I love how Costco does it. Oh, that microwave. So I actually want to get some more um, ground beef. We'll go in here. That thing is so loud. Actually, can you do that for another minute, Jace? I'd be happy to. Um, I saw a taco meat recipe, which I don't need a recipe to make taco meat, um, but you put that in a bowl with cottage cheese, mozzarella, tomatoes, and something else. I don't think so. I mean, whatever taco toppings you want, and then you microwave that so that the cottage cheese just kind of like melts, and the other cheese melts into the taco meat, and then you scoop it with chips and you create it like a little taco bowl, and that sounds so good. It's so good. So many things that you can make with cottage cheese that the cottage cheese just takes on like this wonderful added protein. Um, and so, I've I, lately I have been craving protein, which is a good thing. So I think my body is like working. So, we're gonna have some Mongolian beef, but we did get some fried chicken at the grocery store because it was on sale. So I had two drumsticks for lunch, um, but I we have to share this Mongolian beef. He thought he was gonna get all the leftovers. I think I get all of it. Well, we just share the leftovers, and then if we're still hungry, we can have some chicken. Um, I should finish the um, broccoli that I have in the fridge too. And then I kind of I missed the if there was a football game yesterday. I didn't get a chance to watch it because we went to a friend's house after, I think I took a nap yesterday. <laughs> um, so I kind of wanted to sit down and chill, um, watch a game, watch Bachelorette tonight, <laughs> and relax because I've been editing. That's in between like what you saw at the grocery store and now was me editing. I have not made that a priority this weekend so I'm trying to get caught up so laundry and videos are caught up he's doing dishes which is super nice of him and I think we are set to go the girls have actually you need to put your signed um, paperwork from teachers and her schedule can't show you all this stuff 
Um, you need to put that back. I, I know, but you gotta just put it, put it in your bag. All your signed bag. papers. Um, Abby, I <laughs> she had one here and I signed it and then she put a sticky note on it. This is a couple days ago. She puts a sticky note on it. I can't, I can't show you the paper itself. Um, and she writes on the sticky note. She's like, you need to fill this out and answer the questions. And let me tell you what the questions are. I can't like show you the whole thing because the teacher's name is on here. Um, what language do you speak? How has your students' experience been learning science in the past? What are your students' academic strengths and weaknesses? Are there skills that you would like them to work on improving? And I just was like, Abby's dedicated to learning and studying any subject. Rate your student's level of independence and motivation as a learner on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 representing complete independence and consistent <laughs> completion of work. And I was like, 10? <laughs> like, is there a, is there a 100? Um, anyway, just so I, it was fun to kind of feel it out, and, uh, and then I signed it or whatever. She's just a good student, so. Um, Okay, we're gonna eat and then watch a game. All right, a couple hours later, Seahawks won their game. And I have, I thought I finished laundry. <laughs> I It's all piled up right here. I have this to go up. Ashley has a pile to go up. She's already taken her bucket of stuff up. Um, but then Chelsea brought me another load an hour ago. <laughs> but I didn't. I know, they have two different baskets now. Which is fine, but I have that load in Monster. and a blanket Monster. drying. <laughs> so I'm going to get, it's only 9 o'clock, I'm going to bed. But I'm going to get Jason to move that load for Chelsea in case she needs it for school. She is doing dishes, thank you. We are going to truly start out tomorrow of the week. Caught up. The house is clean, the laundry's done. Um, yeah, the whole first mostly full week of school <laughs> all right we're gonna sign off with you guys we will see you guys next time maybe i need a break maybe that's why i fade into this bitter taste i think i'll let it be